Hi, everybody. I'm Jack Hanna. Come to you from my base camp here at the Columbus Zoo. With his love of animals, infectious personality, and those signature khakis and matching safari hat, Jack Hanna became a star and a warrior in the fight for wildlife conservation for more than 40 years. Now, the 74-year-old in a different kind of fight dementia, which may have progressed to Alzheimer's disease. The family releasing a statement to ABC News saying his condition has progressed much faster in the last few months than any of us could have anticipated. Sadly, dad is no longer able to participate in public life as he used to. Hannah now joining more than 6 million Americans living with Alzheimer's, a number projected to double in the next three decades. Named director of the Columbus Zoo in 1978, Jungle Jack Hanna, with his menagerie of animal ambassadors, became a staple on daytime and late night TV. Let's try one more. One, one more. Will you stop it? His easy rapport leading to his own shows, including Animal Adventures, Into the Wild, and Wild Countdown. This is unbelievable. And it all started right here on Good Morning America. In Jack's first TV appearance in 1983, he showed the first twin gorillas born in human care in the Western Hemisphere. They're doing real good. It was the beginning of a beautiful friendship. You did notice there is something on the back of your neck. <laughs> Jack Hanna, never disappointing. Don't move! <laughs> they marked your territory by urinating. That's why you have the hat on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they also carry certain diseases that... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Well-timed, Jack. <laughs> Sharing his passion for wildlife with all of us. I hope you enjoyed seeing the world through the eyes of animals. It's an amazing perspective. So many families learning what it is to cope with this disease, including my own. But many also finding joy on this journey. Hannah's family saying that his trademark humor is still there and that he still likes to wear his khakis. Deborah Roberts, ABC News, New York.